Hello folks. So today I just wanted to uh, give you a few of my thoughts on genetic manipulation. Um, it was in the news a little bit earlier on this year. Uh, the science of genetic engineering is on the one hand very exciting and could eventually be used to treat all kinds of diseases or reduce the number of people born with physical disablement. On the other hand it's often referred to as man playing God. Um, who is to decide at what point genetic engineering stops becoming an amazing cure-all and starts to become a bespoke recipe for whatever human, animal or plant you'd like to produce. The possibilities are frightening. At the moment scientists have already introduced into our world synthetic insulin and other human proteins including one controlling growth. These are no doubt life enhan enhancing for the people affected and future research could bring about um, perhaps the recipe for growing new organs. I imagine if you've got defective kidneys and you have to spend half your life connected to a dialysis machine you'd welcome such research with open arms um, if genetic engineering was only used at improving the lives of people already suffering surely it can only be a good thing. The danger lies in scientists and entrepreneurs creating a world to order. If for instance you could choose what type of baby you desire at some point in the future you may be able to put forth a shopping list of characteristics and at the right price anything could be possible. You may think that if a couple simply want a blonde blue eyed boy then where's the harm? But why stop there? You may as well go the whole hog and have them choose what aspects of the human brain you'd like your kids to have. Um, if you're a musical family why not breed a concert pianist? If you like football, put England centre forward on your list. Oh yes, and you don't want him to feel inadequate in the locker room, so make sure he's, been, he's given a, a huge penis too. Of course the social implications are enormous. Um, the re recently in the news was this article. Um, science is told hands off gay sheep. Experiments that claim to cure homosexual rams spark anger. And it's basically about scientists conducting experiments to change the sexuality of gay sheep in a program that its critics fear could pave, pave the way for breeding out homosexuality in humans. The technique being developed by American researchers adjusts the hormonal balance in the brain of homosexual rams so that they're more inclined to mate with youths. It raises the prospect that pregnant women could one day be offered a treatment to reduce or eliminate the chance that their offspring will be born homosexual. Experts say that in theory the straightening procedure on humans could be as simple as a hormone supplement for mothers-to-be worn on the skin like an anti-smoking nicotine patch. Uh, the research being carried on at Oregon State University has caused an outcry and rightly so I think. Of course being a gay man it's a worrying situation. Although being gay has never been the easiest way of life, it's what I am, and I'm quite happy to be so. Any problems that I've encountered have not been from within myself, but from a heterosexual world that still views homosexuality as being somehow wrong, against nature, or defective in some way. I could scream gay rights from the rooftops for the rest of my life, and it wouldn't make an ounce of difference to those people who have already made up their minds that homosexuality is either a sin, or is at least something that could and should be eradicated from the human race as being imperfect. This course of thinking is uh, not far from uh, the Nazis' view of the Aryan master race. It's not my place to try to defend gays en masse because, as with the rest of the human race, there are good people and bad ones too. Um, I just find it's hard to believe that there are people in our society that are thrilled by the prospect of eradicating the diversity that exists in the human condition at present. How many other things should be eradicated or added to to form the perfect human? Perhaps such things as IQ, height, strength and longevity could be added. And while we're at it we could also rid the human race of ginger hair, uneven teeth, flat feet, smelly feet maybe, baldness or even big noses. If that's the kind of brave new world that, we're all, that we all have to look forward to I'm hopeful I won't be around to see it.